The most common thing that I recognise with the guys who make it, they've got something that other people haven't. A lot of people in the gym want to be a bodybuilder. They, they want to be that fantastic guy on Instagram who looks the best, but it takes more than just wanting to be that person. These guys work incredibly hard. Their work ethic is phenomenal, their dedication is phenomenal. But not only that, they've got, they've got that passion, that burn inside them to get it. There's a company out there called 5%. And the reason it's called 5% is only 5% of the people have got what it takes to make it. Everybody wants to be that person, but to be it, it takes a lot more than just wanting it. I'll book a competition, or I know I want to compete. I'm a competitive athlete, it's what, it's what I do. I try and set my goals in stages. You've got to have a goal there to, to follow. It's, it's got to be a full-on focus. If you book that competition, you put that date in your diary. That is your goal. You're in the zone. I don't cancel. I don't back out. I don't give up. Commitment isn't just an idea. When you commit to something, you need to go in full feet. There's a lot of sacrifices to be made. But everyone thinks a sacrifice is something that you're giving up something good. But it's not really. As long as you're adapting to see the end goal that you want, there is a lot, a lot of things that are better. And if you live a comfortable life and that, that is all you want and that's your focus, then it's not really a sacrifice. You're giving everything you've got to get to that point. You're committed to it. It's, that's what commitment is. There's no point just saying I'm committed and then living an, a miserable life to get there. You've got to be committed and passionate with the direction you need to go. We're only here once. If you've got something you want to do, make a way to do it. There, there's always a way. If you're willing to give into a small excuse, then it's, it's obviously not for you. If, if you're passionate about something, you will, you will go and do it. Get out of your comfort zone. You live in that comfort zone for too long and, and nothing happens there. So step out of it, make the change, take a risk. If you believe in it, it will happen. You know you're up there with the best. Again, you're at the finals of a show, but that's, that's more of a challenge. You've got there yourself as well. You don't step on stage not to win. If, if you haven't got that in, then should you be up there? It's a workout in itself. It's, it's tiring. You're under hot lights, you're sweating, you're tensing, you're showing everything you've got. It is what it is at the end of the day. You've put in all the hard work. You do make a self-judgment. You sort of, you judge your competition, you, you understand how you've performed during the competition, how everyone else has. You're watching them from backstage. Then they start to call five, four, three, two, one. As it gets closer and closer, and they've called the other, other two out, and so you're in the top three. I got left to the top two. It was myself and a guy called Pod. He was the guy on the poster. He was on the main banner of the UK UP. He looked phenomenal. I'm sure my face says a thousand words. I, I, I couldn't quite believe, yeah, that they'd left me there because I knew, I knew the standard of the competition and who I was up against. Amazing feeling. It takes a little bit of time to sink in. All that hard work comes down to that little moment and it pays off.